In the unboxing video I told you why I was looking for a new multi-channels amplifier. Were test positive? Will the new musical fidelity M6250.5 take the place of my Emimotiva XPA generation 3? Well, keep watching if you want to know more about it, because today we are going to review the new multi-channels amplifier from Musical Fidelity. So let's do it. The new M6 250.5 is a class AB 5 channels multi channels amplifier designed by Musical Fidelity to connect your AV processors or extend your receiver performance with RCA or fully balanced XLR cables. Available in two finishes, black and silver, is coming in a solid power tank builded full aluminum chassis, is so robust build that I can stand up and jump on it. Ok, I didn't do it but... On the minimalist front we can find a small power on off button and the 5 channel status slot. Less status that are not possible to switch off like for example with the Emotiva as you probably know but are really so small that never bother me at all. On the back we have gold plated RCA and XLR input and something really interesting that is not present in every multi channels amplifier that you can use it for B amp your speaker. So all you have to do is connect the RCA out to the next channels so you will have two channels for B amp your speaker. Didn't test it to be honest 250 watt are enough to get really in trouble with my neighbors so but it's there and you can play with all the combinations of channels that you want also because we don't have only five channels in the musical fidelity line but also 11 7 and the new four channels amplifier that can work also in stereo mode making probably musical fidelity m6 line the most versatile class AB multi channels amplifications available on the market today. And I'm speaking about class AB because, for example, Emotiva, as you probably know, is between class AB for the new X base and class G for the XPA. The M6X 250.5 is delivering an incredible power of 250 watt on 4 ohm with 400 watt peak. Internal construction is ultra clean and you will find not one but two big toroidal transformers. That as far I understood one is for the two front channels to increase the dynamic for the most important left and right speaker and the other one for the rest three channels. And something that I really like there are no fan at all meaning that it's ultra silent. You will probably think that it's become a little bit hot but absolutely no this amplifier is running ultra cool so absolutely an a plus here to musical fidelity in terms of space and dimensions the weight is 30.5 kilogram 78 pounds make it pretty heavy slightly more heavy than my xpa emotiva but smaller in dimensions with only 430 millimeter 16.9 inch deep instead 19 inch of the emotiva xpa so it was a perfect size with my rack and my rack. Anyway, keep it in mind if you want, if you don't have so much space. So the new musical fidelity was tested in my Dolby Atmos configurations 5.2.4 full Sonos Faber Sonetto line. As you probably saw in the last video, right? I finally managed to complete the full Sonetto line because before I had as surround speaker, other speaker, I was doing some tests, but now it's complete. Definitely, I have to say that it make difference. As to buffer, I had the SVS 2000 Pro, two of them. I'm now testing two per listen. D12S review coming soon. I'm really excited about it because it will be really interesting also for you. In any case, when I test the multi-channel amplifiers in these situations, I prefer to disable the subwoofer and work with all speaker on big sides. So I test both, I test with subwoofer but also without, just to stress the multi-channel amplifier. I forget to say that the high channels are powered by the Cinema 40. By the way, I watching a couple of, of movies, right, and I pushed the Cinema 40 till something like minus 10, very closer to the reference, and my ears were bleeding. 
and everything remained really clean, controlled, precise. And I did this for a couple of seconds because you can really damage your ears and I don't want to do that. This is not a huge room, but I have to say that the Sonetto line is really not easy to be driven. They, they like power, they have only 87 decibel sensitivity at 4 ohm. And in the Cinema 40 review, as probably you saw it, I spoke about the fact that the Cinema, Cinema 40 alone was not able to drive all the nine speakers from the Sonetto line. That's why I was need to move to an external power amplifier. So our angry speaker and Cinema 40 was really happy to not to have only four of them instead nine. And what I did really interesting in the Cinema 40 setting was to enable preamp only to the speaker connected to the musical fidelity to have a better quality output. But now finally let's move to sound quality. Neutral, natural, correlations free and precise are the first pros that I immediately noticed it in the new M6. It's a multi-channel power amplifier that will not need any break-in period to understand how clinic it is. I think it's built around an imaging localization that is ultra precise, laser focused and holographic. And what I really enjoy in this multi-channel amplifier that I was looking in a multi-channel amplifier since I have many Blu-ray, music Blu-ray, not only movies, probably I have more music Blu-rays rather than movie, right? I was looking for a multi-channel amplifier that could give me something the much more closer to the high fidelity reproductions, what we call high fidelity reproductions, right? Because I have also stereo hi-fi and I always compare the sound quality of both and I had a huge gap between the two. So I wanted that this gap was the much closer as possible. Listening, for example, Nora Jones' live at Ronnie Scott Blu-ray, love it. Instruments had more focus and textures with Nora vocals that was shining coming through with emotions. Or another Blu-ray that I really love is Gregory Porter live in Berlin with Gregory Porter voice that was refined, not too chesty, cymbals on drums was fully extended and overall sax, piano and bass were fully connected with a huge vibe that was fully realistic and immersive. Another Blu-ray that I test again for the second time was Hans Zimmer, the world of Hans Zimmer. The first time I test this Blu-ray I was really not happy about it and I did a post in the community sections also where I was saying hey this Dolby Atmos track because I compared it with the Live in Prague, Live in Prague is a amazing and this one I was really disappointed from the sound quality and I say okay let me test it again on the M6 to 500.5 well completely another story orchestra sound this times incredibly good it, I got more spaciousness instruments were natural detailed guitar strings in the flamenco intro had this sort of metallic flavors that I was looking for and I really enjoy this Blu-ray that was not one of my favorite. So giving a second chance is always a good idea, why not? So I was really happy to enjoy finally this musicality coming also from a multi-channel power amplifier. But what about movies? Mad Max is an habitué on my home theater test because I found this Dolby Atmos track A+. Also in the intro you will find this sand blown off the car on me and I could feel every single grain of sand on my face impressive moving on top gun and last air combat not the movie from 1996 but the last one on scene 12 or 13 now i don't remember if i'm wrong great action scenes great actions and the m6 was deliver a visceral performance as i was sitting in the fighter with tom cruise and it's really crazy because this movie is giving you the idea when this plane is doing this 360 degree, you feel your room that is rotating with the plane, right? It's giving you this sort of effect that is, uh, but uh, do it with the subwoofer, it will make a huge difference because the subwoofer are crazy how it can really handle and reproduce this type of contents. In any case, there are a lot of frackets, things that are happening in these fight scenes and everything was so precise incredibly precise. I love this Dolby Atmos track. Let me know what you think about it please in the comment. And was here when I did this test between Cinema 40 standalone and Cinema 40 with external amplifier that I found this day and night difference. Wow, crazy. That's a huge improvement. Also on Netflix there are some interesting film tests. One of my favorite is 
6 underground. And that's a great multi channels amp test. And here I have to set an M6 play effortless with authority also at high volumes. And same things also with a quiet place part 2, with M6 delivering a visceral impact and natural organic textures. Happy to say that the M6X 250.5 was able to literally transport me inside any actions movie in a realistic and immersive way. What I like from the M6 line is also if it's not, let's say, really cheap, it's still affordable, it's not expensive like the Parasound for example, at least here in Europe, I know that in the Parasound in Europe, in US is cheaper. And I really love Parasound product. I have the phone stage, the JC3 Plus, and I love it. It's absolutely amazing. So we can say that are affordable product. Seconds, they run really cool, no fun. Number three, musicality, that for me is a must, as I told you. Instruments, vocals has to sound good. I have to enjoy it. Number four, you have all the power that you need. And there is an aspect number five that is, I think, really interesting, that is class A, B versus D. And I think that in home theater, class D are really, really interesting because you can have really a lot of power in small chassis. If you take a look, for example, of the NED M28, really small chassis with seven channels. Or for example, the A35.8, eight channels also in a really compact chassis. But if you take a look of the retail price, you can see that with class A, B, you can save something like one or two grand. So class D are still really expensive. At least you don't go with DIY kits, but I never tested at the moment and I don't know if I will probably do it, unfortunately. So class D at the moment are, in my opinion, still really expensive, at least good ones. So moving from the Emotiva XPA to the Musical Fidelity was a sort of sense of peace and harmony. And don't get me wrong, because I really like the Emotiva, is incredibly power, a great value for money. Products just didn't match the Marantz Cinema 40 in tonality. And basically the XPA is smooth and warm, and the Cinema 40 is highly resolving, neutral, natural, with a lot of textures that the two together didn't match properly. And I got these separations between floor stand speakers and height speaker. I lost object localizations that was not more laser focused. I mean, was not bad, just was not right. I felt that was something was strange. Moving on, the M6X helped to unify the soundstage, making any single speaker invisible in my room. Pot amplifiers are coming with a huge amount of power, but in my opinion, the Emotiva has a slightly more reserve of choice. A little bit more. Another thing that I noticed is the noise floor. You know, when you do like that to the Twitter, right? This is a test that probably everybody is doing. How you call it? Kiss the Twitter with your ear. And on both, you got this sort of air that is audible only when you are really, really closer, but much more on the XPA rather than the musical fidelity that was clear. So in the end we have XPA, if you really want a big amount of power, great, it's a great value for money, great value for power product. With the musical fidelity that is, that is more refined, it has more musicality and still able to deliver an impressive dynamic. So warm sound, tonality and a lot of power, then XPA refined sounds, but still with a huge, incredibly good dynamic musical fidelity, M6X. I hope this helped you to understand the difference between the two. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. Rarely do multi-channels amplifier in this price range category deliver such musicality and home theater performance. 
effortless even at high volumes, the M6X to 500.5 presented any source materials faithfully with authority and took my surround sounds to the next level. Not only in terms of audio effects and power, but also in terms of realism, naturalism and with a much more refined performance as I was looking for. And that's it, this was my experience with the new Musical Fidelity M6 to 500.5 highly recommend it. From Ed Audio is everything, if you have any comment please let me know in the comments below and always subscribe to the channel to support my work and see you soon, peace.